take rectangle tool and draw a rectangle here like this and change the filling color and remove these outlines now select this rectangle and click on direct selection tool and select this unsure point and by using arrow key just move the points like this and select this answer point again move it select this answer point and move it downside you can move this point little bit more Now draw another rectangle. Now take this direct selection tool and select this answer point and move it. Let's take this one here. Now take pen tool and draw a line like this now select this tool by pressing shift key take shape builder tool and by pressing alt key delete this area now take this direct selection tool select this answer point and take it down by using arrow key and maintain this gap as uniform select this one and take it little bit this side and make an angular shape like this now select them and take them little bit down now take this pan tool and draw from this anchor point to this anchor point so that we can get the same angle and extend the line and bring it here by making little bit gap in between now select this one and double click on reflect tool and choose vertical and copy now bring this one here now select this and make duplicate by pressing alt key and make duplicate similarly make duplicate of this line by pressing alt key and drag it and make little bit bigger in size compared to this one now draw a line by using pan tool so click here and by pressing shift key make a straight line like this now select those and take this shape builder tool and click here and join this area and now you can delete those unwanted extended lines now select this one and double click on reflect tool choose vertical and make copy now bring it on the other end Now take this direct selection tool and select this point and move it this side. Now select this tool and make duplicate by pressing Alt key and make it smaller in size by dragging it down and bring it here take it more down now select this one and this one by pressing shift key go to object and path offset path here you can give offset and okay you can change the color of this offset so that it would be visible for us 
Now select this offset and this offset by pressing shift key and select this one and this one. Now take shape builder tool by pressing alt key, delete those areas. Now take rectangular tool and draw a small rectangle over here. Now click on direct selection tool and select this answer point and take it down. Now take this pen tool and draw a line from here to here and here and here. Now select this and this by using shape builder tool and by pressing alt key delete this area. Now select them and unite it. Now take rectangular tool once again and draw a square by pressing shift and alt key and drag it and make a, uh, a square like this. Now take this rectangular tool and draw a small rectangle in the middle. Select this tool and go to alignment option and align horizontally and vertically. And now bring it to the now select this and click on rotate tool, double click it and give 90 degree from here. You can preview it and copy. Now select them and from here click on minus front. Now bring it here. You can make a little bit smaller in size. And keep it on the middle. Make it duplicate and place it one here. And make one more duplicate by pressing Alt key and make it smaller and place it on the middle. Next thing is we need to draw the building. So take this rectangular tool and draw a rectangle like this. Now take this add answer point tool and Click here now take this direct selection tool and select this new answer point by using arrow key make a shape like this make a little bit smaller and now Take this pen tool and draw from here to here by using shift key make a straight line like this. You can extend the line. Now select this line and make duplicate by pressing alt key and place it here. Now control D and repeat it. Select those lines and from here remove this fill color and keep outlines only and change the outline. Now take pen tool once again and draw a line from here to here and extend it. Now bring this line to here by pressing alt key make duplicate up to this much of gap and control D and repeat it. Now select this one and this and take this shape builder tool and click here. So let's give the color. Now select this and go to object path offset path and here you can give minus offset path Let's keep minus 4, minus 5 and click OK and change the offset color. Now select this new offset and this and from here click on minus front 
now select them this 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 one this one this one and this one by pressing shift key and you can increase the stroke from here you can give five object expand okay and now unite them now select this one and those and now take the shape builder tool and delete those portion by using alt key now select them and unite it from here now select them all and unite it now bring it here now duplicate this one by pressing alt key and place it here take this one little bit up make one more duplicate and place it here now what you need to do is select this one and make copy edit paste in place now select this one and this one and take the shape builder tool and delete those areas now take this pen tool and draw a line extend it by using shift and alt key take pen tool once again and draw from here to here and extend it once again now select this 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 one and this one by pressing shift key take this shape builder tool now press alt key and delete those areas now let us delete those lines now draw another line from here to here and extend it similarly draw another line from this side and make th this line a gap in between now Take this rectangular shape and draw a rectangle up to here. Now select this, take this direct selection tool, click on this and make an angular shape. Now select this line this one by pressing shift key select this one and this one now take the shape builder tool by using alt key delete those areas now select this one and this one take shape builder tool by using alt key delete those area now here you can see we are not getting uniform shape so what we supposed to do now is take this direction selection tool select this answer point and use arrow key and move it and make it uniform this way now select them and drag it down and make it smaller in size now take this text tool and write the text here 
let's increase the font size of the text give 50 and here write company name now take this pen tool and draw a line from here to here now select this one and double click on reflect tool vertical copy and bring this one to that side by pressing shift key so that we'll get the same alignment and place it here now select these two and unite it select these two and unite it now let us change the color for this this and this one should be the same color so from the swatches we'll select this color and let's send this one to the back now select this one this one this 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 by pressing shift key and change the color for this let's take little bit dark now let us save this on our desktop so go to export save for web and here instead of jpg select this png24 give transparent and make 200 fit on the screen click on save and on the desktop you can give any name and save it now open your photoshop if you are having Photoshop CC or CS6, no problem. Now go to File, Open, and here is the transparent image that we saved. Go to File, Open. Now open the mockup file. Now in mockup, here is the option. So double click here on this layer and open your transparent image now drag your transparent image over this new mockup file tab and release it here click ok and you can make it little bit bigger in size by pressing alt key and drag it and mark it unmark this mockup background now close this tab click on yes and wait while mockup is being applied now let's check the result so this is the logo we made hope you like this tutorial you can subscribe our channel and hit like button thank you